Since before time, whenever our explorers were lost, they would look to the forever star to find their way home. Now, a great darkness has found us. The warmongering Zootopans sought to extinguish our light. In a desperate bid to defend our beloved home, we committed everything we had. Yet, the cold malice of Admiral Voltan couldn't be stopped. The battle was lost. I knew what I had to do. Where our only hope lies. I, Princess Euphora, last remaining regent of our people, will lead us to the Forever Star. Those of us who survived that day lost everything. But this is not our end. We will survive. Because together, we will keep hope alive. Hunt them down. No survivors. Thank you, Frankie. First in our sample platter is City of Murals. In this colorful roguelite, you'll be gliding and grappling across the vibrant frontiers of an alien world. Make strange new friends or fight to outlast the competition. Don't sweat the setbacks. In this cosmic fight for survival, your deaths only make you stronger. Speaking of fighting, Capcom's famed fighter is back with more beards and new ways to play. In Street Fighter 6, keep your fists flying to use new drive gauge mechanics while in-game commentators narrate the action. Wow, that took off a chunk! And a new modern control type means even rookies can throw fireballs with ease. Relive the memories of a god. In the mind-bending narrative adventure, a thousand times resist, you're a clone in the far future. As you relive the memories of humanity's last survivor, you'll uncover a conspiracy that stretches across time and uncover the truth behind a rewritten history. In Vengeful Guardian Moonrider, a totalitarian state learns a hard lesson about activating cyborg super ninjas. It's a bad idea. You control the Moonrider, a ninja-shaped super weapon waging a side-scrolling war against authoritarianism. 
Throughout this retro vengeance quest, you'll unlock modifier chips to customize your abilities and fighting style. Back to you, Frankie. Peggy 16. This land is not for the weak. Most of us wouldn't last a day. But we know you're different. Even the Raven could say that. That's why it entrusted you to wield its power, to be its weapon. To meet the darkness and wound it. So that the cause does not die when you do. The hatred is a force stronger than you can imagine. But just as dust carried by the wind can level mountains. You can wield unimaginable power if you let it wield you. It is the hunting ground of the rogue traders, unique and powerful servants of the Imperium. Here, they seek out new worlds and servants. Here, they discover heresy and deceit. Ancient machines. Murderous Xenos. Warp spawned horrors. Fanatical zealots. In these dark reaches, the Emperor's light is faint. It is the rogue trader's duty to navigate through this dangerous unknown. For they have the power to feed the Emperor's flame. Or to plunge millions of worlds into darkness.
How does Gaslamp Fantasy sound? In this survival game from former Bioware developers, building a cozy base isn't enough. If you want to survive in Nightingale, you'll have to open portals between the Fey Realms and face the dangers on the other side. But by meddling with the game's procedural generation, you can shape your next world into something that will hopefully need fewer bullets. Be ready with your axe pick. Forspoken places a young New Yorker in a post-apocalyptic fantasy world. Luckily for Frey Holland, she's got a newfound suite of fast, flashy combat spells. And with magical parkour, she can air dash, double jump, and wall run her way across the corrupted open world of Athia. Let's break some heads. It looks like Darkest Dungeon, but it hacks and slashes like Gauntlet. In Aaron, the Book of Heroes, you'll carve a path through co-op campaign quests as one of five classes, each with their own fighting style and unlockable perks. Aaron, the Book of Heroes opens in May 2023. If you'd like a lighter fantasy than Aaron, consider Frozen Flame, a survival RPG that understands you want to be out adventuring, not stuck in your base filling your hunger meter. It's a high magic, high saturation landscape built for exploration, not for busy work. This incoming update for Project Winter is all about intrigue. Traitors in the snowy social deduction game will enjoy more ways to steal, sabotage and surveil, while two new roles will bring new ways to play. And you'll find the map decked out with holiday decoration for added festive flair. Over Magicka is Stardew Valley with Pokemon farmhands. You'll breed, train and battle your own collection of blobs, colorful creatures with unique skills to boost the yield from your fields. With a band of blobs at your side, venture out to find rare materials for crafting your ideal farmstead. Inspired by Kashubian myths, Dungeons of the Amber Griffin is a modern revival of classic grid-based dungeon crawling. Gather your four daredevils, choose their spells, skills and equipment, and set out across a world filled with the monsters and magics of Kashubia. For us, failure is not only an option, it's like absolutely mandatory, right? It's the way that we learn and evolve. One of the things I'm excited about with early access is it kind of 
makes everything feel a little more Kerbal in the sense that we're gonna get some things wrong. We're gonna make some assumptions that, that are incorrect. We're gonna fail out loud. Going into early access, we have the opportunity to make this game amazing with our community, not just for our community. Each update is kind of like a little present. As a community, we get to unwrap this present together with all the new features and all the new things to explore. I cannot overstate how important it is for me to just hear what people think about this thing we're creating. We've been working in a vacuum, it's a space joke, for quite a while. This is a rare opportunity to actually find out how we've been doing. Hi there, I'm Imogen Mella from PC Gamer and I am joined by Kerbal Space Program 2's Nate Simpson. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself, Nate? Hi, I'm Nate Simpson. I'm the creative director for KSP2. Um, okay, so Kerbal Space Program 2 coming up, early access, all that jazz. Uh, when we talked in early 2020, uh, one of the features you highlighted were the new uh, tutorial videos to teach people how to play. Can you talk a little bit about that and can you talk about yeah, what we'll be seeing in early access? One experience that a lot of people had uh, in KSP1, even if they had a pre-existing subject matter interest, uh, it really kind of has a reputation as a game that's pretty hard to get into. So one of the big priorities for us going into KSP2 was to re-tutorialize the game. We've created these fully animated, fully interactive tutorials that are meant to teach basic rocketry. On day one of early access, uh, we've got our basic rocketry and our basic orbital mechanics tutorials already in place. And uh, one of the things we want to learn from early access is how good of a job are these tutorials doing teaching these basic concepts? So we're looking forward to seeing what we find. And can you talk about uh, how you expect to be layering the features in early access? What comes first? Right out of the gate, day one, early access, functionally sandbox. What we're doing is validating the basic physics, basic flight systems, vehicle construction, all the things that make Kerbal Kerbal. Uh, the second big rollout uh, is going to be science mode. That'll be our first progression. Uh, mode that we're bringing into the game that rewards exploration with uh, kind of increasing uh, te technology levels and new kinds of parts. And then going forward from that, we have colonies, which is a big new thing for KSP2. Uh, we'll be adding new star systems over the course of early access. The first of the new star systems is called the Deb Deb system. Uh, and once we've got all those things together, we're going to wrap it up with a nice big bow and deliver multiplayer, which is, I think, a thing that a lot of us are very eager to experience. Multiplayer introduces the concept of agencies, um, so you can uh, work uh, alongside friends within a single agency, contributing to a single space program in a way that's cooperative, but you can also play competitively between agencies, each of which is located at a different location on Kerbin. Uh, so with multi-agency play, you can have space races. And uh, for seasoned Kerbal players, are there any changes right now that they're going to run into and go, thank God, that's so much easier or like better right now? There are a lot more convenience improvements. Uh, probably the biggest one is time warp under acceleration. You can now time warp while you are uh, burning an engine. Uh, procedural wings um, make airplane construction a lot easier. And then in general, the vehicle assembly building is just uh, lovely to navigate now. There's a higher number of parts, but those parts are much easier to find in the part palette. And do you expect players to be able to keep their save files through early access into the main game? So can people prep for interstellar travel up to like, uh, 1.0 comes out. So forward compatibility of craft files is a really important thing for us. Um, but uh, early access being early access, uh, all I can express is a strong hope <laughs> that uh, vehicles that you build on day one of early access will still uh, be forward compatible when we hit 1.0. And uh, how are colonies going to change how we play Kerbal? Uh, colonies are going to change everything. Colony gameplay is about facilitating the collection of resources. And there's a system that works hand in hand with colonies called the delivery route system. I can drive a resource extractor out to a resource deposit, drill for it, extract it, drive it back, and then turn that into a repeating delivery. Um, and then the delivery route system uh, does something even cooler, which you can automate the transportation of resources from one colony to another colony. Once you have that capability, you can set up like orbital colonies that are functionally hubs uh, to which you're ferrying resources from 
multiple star systems even. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. feeling distinctly anhydrous. The Gate Cascade Research Facility has stretched the fabric of the universe to breaking point. Now the world's greatest minds must survive a trans-dimensional catastrophe using brains over brawn to unlock the facility's secret depths. Endothermia. And craft their way out of a supernatural situation. One sector at a time. When the boundaries between dimensions have been undone, it's up to the science team to endure, experiment, explore, and maybe even escape an apocalypse in the making. Aren't you glad we're together in this? Bad news, Frankie. The rich have destroyed Earth and colonized Mars. The good news is that you can, as always, steal their stuff. In Hyenas, you and your pack will fight clone security forces and rival players in zero-gravity shootouts, using environment-altering abilities to plunder priceless pop culture relics. 
I said, stop playing with the merch and move. Gumbarella is a rust-colored metroidvania fit for a rainy day. Your Gumbarella isn't just a weapon, it's a bullet shield and traversal tool, letting you deflect enemy shots and slide across zip lines. With your trusty lead pumping parasol, side scroll your way through a quest of revenge and corporate exploitation. Take the radiation-soaked top-down shooting of Nuclear Throne and stretch it across a procedurally generated Eastern Europe and you'd get zero sievert. Scavenge for loot in a tense post-apocalypse to mod your guns and upgrade your base if you manage to survive the bandits and mutant wildlife. Up next. Do you ever wish you could talk to your video game guns? That's a strange thing to wish for, but lucky you. Rick and Morty creator Justin Roiland's making a whole game about it. And High On Life is actually coming out next month. Here's some exclusive footage from the folks at Squanch Games. Take him out! Come on out so I can shoot you! You're ugly! How many of these guys are there? Fuck! Time out! Time out! Yeah, fuck! Kill him! I think that might be all of them. What, what do you think? All right, either way, let, let's just he head to Dreg. This is the LEA Institute. All controls have failed. Repeat. All controls have failed. Everywhere. Requesting EVA. Requesting EVA. Away from the LEA Institute. I repeat. All controls have failed. Repeat. All controls have failed. Repeat. All controls have failed. Squad H-73 has reached target location. Mission objective, deviation control. What the hell happened here? Take cover. Get up now. We've got to get out of here. Keep yourself hidden. Don't look them in the eye. It's all over. Let's get out of here. Knock, knock.
Remember. Remember the rage of the sea. Remember the light in the darkness. And when the dead winter comes, remember those who never sleep. Lycanville is a fast-paced first-person slasher in the tradition of classic 90s shooters. Locked in a nightmare, your long sword and magic are your only hope for surviving a whole Castlevania's worth of skeletons. I'd have brought a mace myself. Five years after the events of the first Star Wars Souls-like, Jedi survivor finds Cal Kestis evading the Empire's hunters as they track him across the galaxy. Expect plenty of lightsaber action, and if we're lucky, more collectible ponchos. 89 days ago, I lost contact with Earth. We regret to report that the moon is, in fact, haunted. In Moon Mystery, uncover the secret history behind past lunar missions in a universe-spanning investigation. And bring a gun, it's not just low-gravity puzzles out here. I don't know if I'm going to get it back. Hunt the Night asks an important question. What if Link to the Past got bitten by a werewolf and turned into Bloodborne? The answer is a top-down, fast-paced action game where you take beast hunting contracts to face bullet hell boss fights. Uncover an accursed world's dark lore and upgrade your arsenal to suit your hunting style. And that's everything I have for now. But before we go back to Frankie, here's a look at what Call of Duty looks like on an Intel-powered PC. Just the Vault Edition and get the Season 1 Battle Pass and 50 tier skips. Dead. Say the words. His bones are earth. His flesh is dust. His breath. His breath is wind. His breath is wind. Where will I go? Is there anyone who can take care of you? My brother. But he doesn't want to see me. All right now. I'll take you somewhere safe. But that's it. Gemini is expecting you. I assume you're here about the boy. We need the boy. I need the child alive. If he's dead, he can't help me. Heal me. Gemini has the artifact of pain. And she can use it even if she doesn't win the game of dice. Imagine the power she has to threaten anyone with that. So why is old Gemini so keen on getting her hands on you? I'm cursed. That's why Grandpa is dead. That's why my brother hates me. I'm cursed, and everyone I touch is cursed too. You cannot escape Gemini. I invoke the one law. Help! What are you doing to the boy? 
you think I had a choice? I don't care about your grand plan. You will never While there is no justice, there will be no law. You? Nah. You don't have what it takes. Dude, hold on. Yeah, the dungeon is a real downer. And getting eaten so often crushes my vibe. But with a squad this rad, we've got what it takes. Zed's the grooviest. <laughs> Bunker keeps us all safe. And Blaze makes things explode. Yay. We are one... Oh, wait. Groovy. One happy family. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, ah. Take that! Oh, oh! That's me! Pew, 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 pew! Oh, that's a good strategy! Pew! Oh, okay, sorry. Hope that didn't hurt. Oh, hi! Team Deck has had an exciting year and we have so much more to come in 2023. We started shipping this powerful handheld PC gaming device back in February of this year. And despite the fact the delivery guy we hired wasn't very fast, sorry Gabe, we not only caught up to reservation holders, we increased production and are now in stock and shipping all over North America and Europe. And we're not done there. We just opened reservations in Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. And with the help of Komodo, expect to start shipping there by the end of this year. We even had a booth at Tokyo Game Show so we could properly introduce ourselves under a giant Steam Deck. Pretty, isn't it? Our favorite part is seeing all the different ways people have been using their Steam Deck. From playing their Steam library on the go, to using it as the powerful PC it is to do pretty much everything else. In fact, here's the dock we launched just last month. It's shipping now and lets you connect to a ton of peripherals. But don't worry, the work we did to support it means you can also use any USB hub or dock you want. In 2023, we're looking to continue shipping more and more Steam Decks and docks, and we're looking toward launching in more regions too. We'll also continue our work to get as many Steam titles verified on deck as possible. Now keep in mind, games don't need that green check mark to run on deck, but we work with developers to verify games as basically a way to communicate with you which ones we know for sure run super well. Over 6,000 titles are already verified or playable, and that list is growing by the day and will continue to well into 2023 and beyond. So essentially, this represents everything we're about, continuing to make PC gaming as powerful and accessible as possible to as many different kinds of gamers as we can, all while continuing to push that technology forward for players and the industry as a whole. So there's a lot more to come. We have so much planned with Steam Deck for 2023 and well into the future. And don't worry, we're gonna go ahead and leave the delivery up to the professionals. Biogun is what you'd expect from a Metroidvania, assuming your expectations include a vaccine hero made of pig DNA and a medicine gun. Save a sick dog's life by blasting viruses across a microscopic expanse of organs. Explore to unlock abilities and upgrades, and even find some delightful hats along the way. Uh, don't ask how they got there. Despite how it might look in Biogun, facing our inner turmoil isn't terribly exciting for most of us. But others like Little Griffin are lucky enough to face their inner fears on a magical journey with a living teddy bear. In Daydream Forgotten Sorrow, you'll join Griffin and Burly the Bear on a dreamlike puzzle-solving adventure. Speaking of, Frankie, what else is on the way for us to daydream over?
worst of the worst of the worst. Still, you're good at what you do. In 1914, the world is pulled into a war like none ever seen, and Europe is divided. From the Belgium coast to the borders of Switzerland, two distinct alliances emerge. Now, experience the Great War like never before. Lead the Allied nations to victory or command the Central Powers and relive or redefine the course of history. Acting as field and theater commander, Lead your forces with both a tactical and strategic mindset, each turn representative of a month. Troops can be sent across the continent to build forces ready to strike. But whilst making one territory stronger, doing so may leave another vulnerable to attack. Meet objectives, make tough decisions, and face historic events to lead your faction along the right path choices between inspiring your nation or building your resources will define you and the war. With six different branches to research, you choose how this war is fought through advanced engineering, improved trench warfare, and even flight. Total victory at the tactical level brings your faction one step closer to pushing back the Western Front. But in a war of inches, the victory falls in the margins. Even minor success in battle holds great merit in the grand strategy, dampening your opponent's national will and tipping the scales of war. Reach success by chipping away at their will to fight or attempt what history could not. Seize the German headquarters. Infiltrate the French capital. Step into the shoes of a commander face one of the most significant wars of our time and choose to relive history or redefine it. Next month's Midnight Suns might be going the deck building route, but Spitfire Interactive is keeping closer to the XCOM model with its superhero tactics game for 2023. You'll recruit a team of heroes to reclaim a city from 20 years of supervillain rule, each bringing their own unique power set and playstyle. With careful positioning, you can blend your super team's powers to create potent new attacks. And as your heroes improve, you'll guide their growth, choosing upgrades to suit your tactics. Start saving up for Spandex. Capes releases in 2023. If your life's been empty of XCOM goodness lately, might we suggest Xenonauts 2? Lead an international defense force in detailed tactical combat against an extraterrestrial enemy. Manage and expand your global research and defense network to ensure Earth outlasts an alien invasion. From the makers of Monster Train comes a new turn-based tactics roguelike. In Inkbound, you'll embark on co-op quests through a colorful collection of living stories. Releasing in 2023, Inkbound's evolving world means every day will offer new adventures and new combat options for your next build. Fight for your story. If you prefer your heroes with a fancy flavor, don't fret. While we haven't seen heroes of might and magic in a few years, developer Lava Potion is happy to pick up the ball. Emerging from early access in 2023, Songs of Conquest is that classic cocktail of turn-based strategy and tactical combat, all in a gorgeous pixel art package. Welcome to Sickness Enterprises, Contractor. We are the galaxy's leading space exploration mega corporation. You have been tasked to restore our facilities on Nitalis to a productive and profitable state. Now, let's get to work. Remember, the company is here to support you. 
just in case things go wrong. Got it. Let's go. But enough about you. Let's talk about me. I'll make sure my staff pays their fair share to use your facilities. Opulence comes at a price after all. Any future visitors that stay at one of these doors will net you some well-deserved credits too. Time to test out the new upgrade. memories of a rabbit soldier's rise from disgrace in untamed tactics. Smart positioning will make the most of your animal comrades and their abilities, while your parlay deck lets you engage in battlefield diplomacy to change the flow of combat. Unlockable characters, upgrades, and equipment offer options to customize your roster. Listen up, logistics lovers. In this supply chain strategy game, there are no losses or penalties to get between you and the wild rush of resource management. Fulfill your flowchart fantasy in Master Plan Tycoon, coming in Q1 2023. Men of War 2 marches on. Even despite wartime delays, Ukrainian developer Bestway will release the sequel to its acclaimed World War II RTS in 2023. Direct combined air, armor, and infantry forces across both the Western and Eastern fronts and use direct control to take full command of any unit on the battlefield. Frankie, what's left on the agenda? The eyes of the world are upon you. We rebels who defied heaven with arms fell headlong from Athenian skies, hurled, vanquished into a dim, abyssal gulf. We forsaken, forever condemned to taste burdened air and churning ash, racked for eternity with obdurate pride and steadfast hate. We who chose never to yield or submit, strived to make a heaven of hell. We raised our great capital, Pandemonium, from which his dark majesty ruled, till vanished he did from his infernal throne. From our strongholds deep, we now rage against one another, each fixing our plans upon the throne. Here, at last, I shall be free. To reign is worth ambition. Though in this place of darkness made visible, better to rule in hell than serve in heaven. Commander, no plan survives the first battle, and we've had many. 
Here we are, battle-hardened and armed with your feedback. We are now ready to go over the top for the launch release. We are deploying a plethora of new content, optimizing and refreshing the battlefield along with the final act of our gripping story campaign. Commander, Crossfire Legion leaves early access, 8th of December. At the number six slot in our most wanted list is The Finals, the upcoming free-to-play FPS that wowed crowds and critics with its reveal in August. A project from ex-Battlefield devs, it's no surprise that The Finals features some eye-popping environmental destruction, promising a wealth of tactical options for those who can wield the map itself as a weapon. The physics-based playbox doesn't end at dropping a building on your enemies. Tools like glue cannons and expandable foam canisters let you add to the battlefield even as you tear it apart. With its dynamic environment tech, the finals is making a big promise. Let's hope it delivers. Thanks to the developers of the acclaimed Divinity Original Sin games, we'll be adventuring in the Forgotten Realms once more. After three years in early access, Baldur's Gate 3 will release in 2023, adding a new entry to one of the most beloved RPG series ever made. Play the story as a pre-made origin character or combat the Mind Flayer menace as your own handcrafted hero. The rich worlds of Divinity join with the D&D 5e inspired combat, allowing intricate gameplay interactions between your abilities and the environment both in and out of battle. Join up to three friends and adventure together, or split the party and independently chase your own quest lines. The future of the Forgotten Realms is yours to decide when Baldur's Gate 3 releases next year. Few can sell a beautiful dream like Bethesda. And what dream is better than a sweeping expanse of sci-fi adventure, a Skyrim on a galactic scale explored in your own self-built spaceship? Of course, in making those dreams into reality, the studio is just as renowned for stumbling as it is for succeeding. It's with giddy dread that we ask, what might Bethesda's trademark jankiness look like when it's stretched across 1,000 simulated planets? Make no mistake, we're as eager as anyone to get our hands on Starfield when it arrives in 2023. And if Skyrim is anything to measure by, we'll probably be playing it for a decade afterwards. As we enter the top three on our most wanted list, we're dipping into the diabolical with Diablo 4. With a decade already passed since Diablo 3's release, there's a demon slaying hole in our hearts that only a new entry in Blizzard's legendary loot chase can fill. And no, remasters and mobile spin-offs won't scratch that itch. With the return of skill trees and favorite classes like the Rogue and Druid, the addition of an open online overworld, and most importantly, more modifiers for your random loot, there's plenty to be excited about in Diablo 4's updated formula. When hell reopens in 2023, we'll be waiting at the gates. With the RTS genre set to make a comeback, it's prime time for Relic's acclaimed World War II series to redeploy for the Mediterranean theatre in Company of Heroes 3. The sequel's Italian campaign will offer a turn-based Total War-style grand strategy between real-time battles with a dynamic campaign map ensuring you won't fight the same war twice. Meanwhile, the North African campaign provides the traditional RTS campaign experience with linear cinematic battles. Using army customization options, craft your ideal fighting force by reinforcing your units with specialists from allied nations. Your battles will take a toll on the terrain as you fight, with dynamic battlefield damage constantly reshaping the map with new cover points. And a tactical pause system will let you queue orders for your units so you can command at your own pace. We don't have long to wait. Company of Heroes 3 makes landfall on February 23rd, 2023. At the prize slot in our most wanted list, a sci-fi classic returns after nearly 20 years in the making. For a new RTS renaissance, we couldn't ask for a better flagship than Homeworld 3. 
With modern tech, homeworld spaceship tactics are reimagined in a truly gorgeous fleet battle ballet, bolstered by the tactical opportunities offered in fully 3D battle spaces. All interceptors with me. The drifting hulks of massive space derelicts provide a wealth of strategic openings for a clever commander to outmaneuver enemy forces. Unleash a surprise attack with a destroyer hidden beneath drifting armor plating or flank the enemy unseen with a strike craft trench run. Outside standard PvP skirmishes, commanders will find plenty of battles to fight beyond the campaign, thanks to the addition of a new repeatable roguelike co-op mode. Homeworld 3's long-awaited return is set for the first half of 2023.